All right, guys, jumping back into the tournament for Elixir and Regen. We are in the final round, this time going against the Ronzo Fangs. Albed Sykes taking on the Luka Goers. So let's just jump right in. Obviously, we've been doing well because we're in the finals. Haven't dropped a game yet. It is notable, though, that the Albed Sykes last game did score on us. And that's not unusual, but it's definitely something to keep note of, especially if we get, like, a back, back and forth game. Because at that point, like, we're in a... We're in a sticky situation if we get a back and forth game or something like that. Yeah, let's uh, jump in. And that's that. We got a lot of tech copies, but honestly, a lot of them are just kind of... I don't know, they're iffy. Because they're they're just so unlikely to happen with like that volley shot one and stuff. And some of the antis we could easily make happen, but we never really push for it, right? It's just, um, it's just whatever occurs is what we accept. But yeah, let's, uh, let's push right side, actually. Let's give Dotto a little bit of love. I don't know, Dotto's been kind of unloved recently in terms of, uh, getting the ball and stuff. He just has not been participating in the games of Blitzball or we've been playing. Yeah, it's funny as well, because I think a lot of the, uh, the antis we need, though, going back on that, are anti-naps. And we promise not to use nap techniques, um, like passes and stuff, so it's harder to get nap, uh, anti-nap, right? If we, like, bend ourselves out of a technique, it's hard to get the anti of that technique. Alright, so you can have Gazin to push left side here. I mean, nothing really is going to happen here. We're going to go for the wither tackle, but it's not going to mean much. You know what, didn't we learn Wither Tackle 3 for Dotto and never equip it? Now that I realize that. I think we might have. Let's double check that on the half. We could be leaving some opportunity on the table. And that's not, that's not super good. Going for the shot. Thankfully, Josu is able to stop it. And then we can maybe set up a walk-up for something here. Shouldn't be too bad. I mean, just arguably, we could also set up Dotto. Like, they're both kind of in good spots anyways. I'm going to go for Waka this time. There is a part of me that thinks, like, Dotto was the right choice there. But Waka for now. Alright, and then Gazan Aronso with the ball. So pushing, yeah, pushing right side here. We're going to tackle through. Then, yet again, let's see if we can get the walk of some, uh, some, some goals. Or a goal, at least. I mean, it's a guaranteed yes, right? I mean, Waka at this point is just an absolute unit. A monster, if you will. He is so difficult. I mean, near impossible to stop with the, with the Orox spirit. Three zero. It is notable too. I think the last time we faced the Ronzo Fangs, we really just went for goals all the time, and we ended up uh, making the score ten zero. So that's not necessarily un unusual or impossible this time, but I don't, I don't think it's going to happen. Not at the rate we're uh, playing right now. It just seems unlikely. Jasu will tackle through. Gets a touch, but not the ball. Uh, hopefully, Letty blocks this, potentially. And there it is. All right. This opens it up for Waka to, uh, yet again, be the champion we need. So we're going to pass to Waka and just let him use his final Orox Spirit of the, of the half. Both because he has no HP and also because there is 
40 seconds left, so there's not a lot of time for him to capitalize on anything here. Must be awkward if it didn't make it. <laughs> it is going to make it. It's going to be 4 0. There it is, 4 0. So a little bit of experience for them, a little bit more for us. Quite a bit more, you'd argue, you could argue. Let's jump right into the second half, and then, like I had mentioned, let's double check Dotto. I think he does know Wither Tackle 3, and we just completely space that. There it is, Wither Tackle 3. See, that's something we want to get. Oh, Zam Zeronto is anti venom. That's going to be tough. So Gaznaranta with the ball is going to be pushing midfield here. I mean, this is a guaranteed failure. I was going to say, there's, there's just no chance, right? Like, they they had Dotto tackle through after Letty, and, I mean, that is just asking for trouble. And there's no tackle slip on your midfielder, too. I mean, you can, I mean, you have tackle slip. You can hope for the best. But when you're just taking tackles and you know it, like, that's just insane. Yeah, we're going to have Waka just go for the Oroch Spirit here. Real casual Oroch Spirit, you know, no big deal. I mean, Walk is just going to do a little bit of a love tap there. I mentioned it before, but Walk doesn't really have enough HP to, to be doing wither tackles every single day when there's not really hope of success. There is an argument for him doing it there because he can only he can only do um, three Oroch Spirits a game and has like five or six hundred HP left over. He can't do a third one. Unless he gets some rest. So, I mean, there is an argument for, like, well, just, just let him do it anyways, right? Like, there's no reason not to. The reason he can't do it multiple times, we, we saw it in a previous um, match, but if Waka has, like, 605 HP, even though Oroch Spirit costs 600 HP, he can't use it. The His HP needs to equal the Technique cost and his base shoot cost. So, like, if it's, like, 50, if he has 50 shoot and Oroch Spirit costs... 600 he needs at least 650 HP so that's why like he, he always hits like exactly 600 but it doesn't matter because he would need to rest a lot to to recover that HP that's kind of the short like explanation and HP doesn't regenerate that fast I mean you can always equip regen but I don't know it feels like a waste of tech slot sometimes So what walk has one more one more shot so let's actually pass the Dotto I mean Dotto's pretty open so this looks pretty good for us oh I'm so unlucky all right well if we're gonna be that unlucky I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for the tackle and dribble so I can get real up to the real up to the goal okay that was stupid um, I'm gonna lose the ball here and I deserve to I bet yeah, I deserve that. I 150% deserve that. Like, that was so dumb. All right, let's see what we can do. Double tackle is good. Um, go for the wither tackle. Arguably, we could have gone for um, a regular tackle because that would mean that Dotto actually gets the ball as opposed to um, as opposed to Letty. But yeah, let's pass to, to Waka here. Dude, newbie Ronts are just encountering everyone in their grandma. There it 
it is. 7 0. Can we do it? I mean, we can definitely wither tackle now because it doesn't matter. So Letty with the ball, we're actually going to pull back a little bit. We just want Dotto to get the ball here and a goal. And there it is. Nap shot right at Zamzi's face. I mean, there's... There's like no chance, right? There's just, <laughs> it's just not gonna happen. So 8-0 is likely gonna be the final score. So four goals a half is not bad. It's definitely not as dominant as we previously have been, but you know, that that's probably gonna slow down over time. So a little bit of experience for them, a little bit more for us, as you know. <laughs> And Letty level 48, more HP endurance pass. So I like that. I like seeing that. So yeah, we 8 0 the Ronzo Fangs. Albert Sykes 2 0 the Luka Goers. So we should have gotten our elixir, which we don't really care about. Then regen. Who learns it? Ah, uh, sure, Waka. Yeah. Perfect. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time.